like back in my YouTube video and um yeah today we're doing the Mandalorian chapter 13 the Jedi episode review um so this week's episode was pretty interesting honestly we got a couple things major things um in this episode and overall this episode was pretty interesting in my opinion I I kind of enjoyed it and kind of didn't but I'll, I'll explain why Okay, so first off, uh, the episode starts off with none other than Ahsoka Tano f attacking what looks to be um, not a village, but um, a village that is under control by some people. Um, so yeah, she attacks them, kills them. Um, I was about to go like, why the heck is she killing them like that? Because she was... She wasn't brutally killing them like a Sith Lord would be, like Darth Vader or something, but she was killing them. So I was wondering about that, but I was like, ah, she's not really Jedi, first of all. Second of all, um, I don't think they really do that anymore. So yeah, um, that that was that. Um, then we see the Mando, Mandalorian, Din Djarin, and the child go to a planet called Corvus, where they find Ahsoka Tan. Mando and uh, he doesn't realize that Ahsoka Tano is not with them. So what he does, I don't know why I said Tano. It's Tano. Sorry, but yeah, um, he basically agrees to a deal where uh, he would go hunt down Ahsoka and exchange. The leader of the group um, would actually give him a best car. Um, a Beskar rod or sword. It's not a sword. Like a spear or a lance or something. Made of completely Beskar. Which is pretty cool honestly. Um, then what, end up ha what ends up happening is Ahsoka and um, the Mandalorian both uh, fight. But then he's just like no, no, no. And then basically they stop. He shows her the child. They become, like, like she talks to him kind of thing through the force. And we figure out that the child's name is really Grogu. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know how to feel about that name, honestly. Which would be pretty cool. Obviously, I didn't expect it to be named, like, something like Dave or something. I was expecting it to be kind of, like, more of a Star Wars-y name. Um, so, yeah. That was pretty cool. And then we learned actually that he's was actually part of the Jedi Order, which was very um very interesting to hear. I, I didn't expect it, but um he is fifty years old, so not too ex not like not, it's not that hard to expect. But um yeah. Which was pretty interesting. We figure out that basically his name's Grogu. He was originally with the Jedi back during the Clone Wars. Then, obviously, Order 66 happened. He was taken, hidden away. Basically, that's what happened. And he was, like, trained and stuff. So, that was very strange to me. What what really it was reminding me of was just, like... Like, maybe he's, he's a lot more knowledge than, than I thought, honestly. But he is 50 years old. Honestly, I was expecting him just to be like a baby who doesn't know, but he turns out he does know, so that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, uh, the name's probably gonna get so get some getting used to, I, cause I might call him the child once in, here and there, but I'll try to be call him Gogu, like cause the same ha same thing happened with uh, the Mandalorian and Din Jaren. I I hadn't been calling him that uh, for like a couple episodes after. Like a couple times after, um, we learned that it, that was his name. So yeah, uh, that might happen. Then what happens is he's asking him to train the child, but she's kind of refusing ish. She's just like because he basically has emotions towards uh, Din Jaren because he's basically been like a father to him. So. And Ahsoka doesn't really want to train him or oversee his training just because of what happened. I assume what happened with Anakin um, because he had like emotions toward his mother and I guess Padme too. So that that was kind of strange to me. 
Uh, I really like that part. Um, then they agree that he would help. She would help him with the child, or Grogu, in exchange for Ahsoka helping. Or, I mean, met uh, Din Djarin helping Ahsoka uh, free the town, basically, and get some information. So yeah, they basically fight. Um, I don't really know what else to say. They really, they really just fight. Um, the villagers are freed, and then we see Ahsoka get to the leader, basically almost kill her, and then be like, "Who's your? Where's your master?" And we finally figure out something very interesting to me is she says, "Where is Grand Admiral Thrawn?" So yeah, um, but we don't we don't get the answer to, so that's a little bit strange. It could be setting up an Ahsoka series or a Rebel sequel series, so that's what I find kind of cool about that. But yeah. Um, let's just talk right now. Um, the Thrawn thing, for example. Let, let's just talk there. So, I'm kind of interested in seeing where the Thrawn thing goes because, because one, I don't want him to be heavily involved in the Mandalorian. If he comes back, I hope he's in a different show. Maybe we see a glimpse of him in the Mandalorian, but I don't want him to be like Moff Gideon, I'm taking over as the overall villain or something. I don't want that to be happening. That's just in my opinion. And I'm also wondering what what what's happening with Thrawn especially. After we see that him, Ezra are being like taken away or whatever by those um I don't I don't know what they were called, but back in the Rebel series, the end of it. Um so yeah, I was kinda interested in that. Um I kinda found it strange that Ahsoka was um, I was expecting Ahsoka to be trying to find Ezra. I think she is, but I'm wondering if Ahsoka and Ezra, I mean, Grand Admiral Thawn and Ezra both escaped from that thing. Because that's what I'm wondering, or if she's trying to locate Grand Admiral Thrawn or something. I'm trying to figure that out. That's one thing I want, I'm thinking about. So yeah, that would be kind of cool. Um... Yeah, this episode was pretty interesting in, in terms of information we were getting. Like, the child's name is Grogu. Oh, and one thing I forgot to say is actually that um, the child, uh, Din, is apparently bringing the child Grogu. Sorry, I was getting used to it. Um, But yeah, he's taking Grogu to um, basically an ancient Jedi temple to see his... Not knowledge, but a Jedi may take him or something. I don't know. Honestly, I expect the child to be just staying with Mando all, or Din Djarin all the time. So I don't expect him to be taken by like a Jedi or Ahsoka or something. I was fully kind of expecting um, Ahsoka to not take the, the, the child. Unless it was like a serious finale. That would be different. But yeah, um, that's basically what I think. Um... Yeah, and also what what was a little bit um strange is that apparently um Yoda slash Grogu's kind uh there were only two of them or something, but there was also Yaddle. Don't forget about him, which I find it kind of strange that Ahsoka doesn't know. But whatever, that's the top for a different video. But yeah, uh, comment down below if you've seen this episode. Um. And what exactly you thought of the episode. Um, I'm interested to see what you guys think. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.